magsiluhod ang lahat. Panalangin para sa pambansa at panglokal na halalan. Manalangin tayo upang sa papalapit na pambansa at panglokal na halalan ay tunay na maghari ang kalooban ng Diyos na siyang gumagabay sa lahat ng bansa. Sama-sama nating idalangin, iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Mula sa pamimilit, pananakot, karahasan at terorismo. Iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Mula sa panloloko, pagsisinungaling at pagbaluktot sa katotohanan. Iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Mula sa panunuhol, kasakiman at sabuatan upang makapandaya. Iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Mula sa kawalang muwang sa panlilinlang at makitid na pananaw. Iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Mula sa pagbabanta, pananakot at lapastangang pananalita. Iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Sama-sama nating idalangin, dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang aming budhi ang siyang gawing tunay na pamantayan. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang kabutihan ng nakararami ang aming pinakamataas na layunin. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang dignidad ng tao ay palagi ang igalang. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang kapuspalad at mahihina ay pagukulan ng higit na pansin. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang pangangalaga sa kalikasan ay hindi ipagwalang bahala. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang pagkakaisa ay magbigay daan sa landas ng kapayapaan at kaunlaran. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang banal na pagkatakot sa Diyos at pag-ibig sa kapwa ang maging gabay ng mga nagnanais manungkulan sa pamahalaan. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Manalangin tayo. Pastol ng aming kaluluwa at tagapagligtas ng sanlibutan, ang politika ay iyong kaloob sa amin. Isang paanyaya upang maglingkod sa iba at lumago sa kabanalan. Gabayan mo ang politika sa aming bansa, katulad ng paggabay mo sa amin. Nawa ang aming politikal na pakikilahok para sa mga botante at kandidato ay magdulot ng kaluwalhatian sa iyong mahal na ngalan at matulungan din kaming yumabong sa kabutihan, ngayon at magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, on this first Friday of the month, let us entrust ourselves to the most sacred heart of Jesus. And in a special way, let us entrust our country, the Philippines, to the merciful heart of our Lord. Let us now be sorry for our sins and entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you show us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the resurrection and life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who have come to know the grace of the Lord's resurrection may through the love of the Spirit ourselves rise to newness of life through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Saul, still breathing murderous threats against the disciples of the Lord, went to the high priest and asked him for letters to the synagogues in Damascus, 
that if he should find any men or women who belong to the way, he might bring them back to Jerusalem in chains. On his journey, as he was nearing Damascus, a light from the sky suddenly flashed around him. He fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to him, Soul, soul, why are you persecuting me? He said, Who are you, sir? The reply came, I am Jesus whom you are persecuting. Now get up and go into the city, and you will be told what you must do. The men who were traveling with him stood speechless, for they heard a voice but could see no one. Saul got up from the ground, but when he opened his eyes, he could see nothing. So they led him by the hand and brought him to Damascus. For three days he was unable to see, and he neither ate nor drank. There was a disciple in Damascus named Ananias, and the Lord said to him in a vision, Ananias. He answered, Here I am, Lord. The Lord said to him, Get up and go to the street called Straight, and ask at the house of Judas for a man from Tarsus named Saul. He is there praying, and in the vision he has seen a man named Ananias come in and lay his hands on him, that he may regain his sight. But Ananias replied, Lord, I have heard from many sources about this man, what evil things he has done to your holy ones in Jerusalem. And here he has authority from the chief priest to imprison all who call upon your name. But the Lord said to him, Go, for this man is a chosen instrument of mine to carry my name before Gentiles, kings, and children of Israel, and I will show him what he will have to suffer for my name. So Ananias went and entered the house. Laying his hands on him, he said, Saul, my brother, the Lord has sent me, Jesus, who appeared to you on the way by which you came that you may regain your sight and be filled with the Holy Spirit. Immediately, things like scales fell from his eyes, and he regained his sight. He got up and was baptized, and when he had eaten, he recovered his strength. He stayed some days with the disciples in Damascus, and he began at once to proclaim Jesus in the synagogues that he is the Son of God. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Praise the Lord, all you nations. Glorify him, all you peoples. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. For steadfast is his kindness toward us, and the fidelity of the Lord endures forever. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Please all stand. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in him, says the Lord.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. The Jews quarreled among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, Unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in him. Just as the living Father sent me, and I have life because of, my, of the Father, so also the one who feeds on me will have life because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Unlike your ancestors who ate and still died, Whoever eats this bread will live forever. These things he said while teaching in the synagogue in Capernaum. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, for almost a week now, our gospel has been taken from the sixth chapter of the Gospel of St. John. In this chapter, this section of the Gospel of St. John is called the Bread of Life Discourse. Because in these, in this whole chapter, Jesus talks of himself as the bread of life. And as we have seen in the past gospels and even today, in today's gospel, the Jews found it difficult to understand. In our gospel today, we heard the Jews ask, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Nahirapan silang unawain ang ipinapaliwanag ni Jesus sa kanila. Paano nga naman nilang uunawain ang sinasabi ni Jesus na kailangan nilang kainin ang kanyang katawan at inumin ang kanyang dugo sapagkat ang kanyang katawan at ang kanyang dugo ay nagbibigay na bu ng buhay na walang hanggan. The Jews thought that Jesus was crazy. Nasisiraan na yata to ng bait. Pakakainin tayo ng kanyang laman at dugo. He must be wrong. He must be crazy. But Jesus painstakingly explained this to the Jews. In fact, the whole chapter of the whole sixth chapter of the Gospel of St. John is composed of 71 verses. For 71 long verses, Jesus has been explaining to the Jews what he meant by saying, I am the bread of life. Buong pagtsatsaga na ipinaliwanag ni Jesus ang katotohanan tungkol sa kanyang sarili na siya nga ang pagkaing nagbibigay buhay. Buong pagtsatsaga na iminulat ni Jesus ang mga mata ng mga Hudyo sa katotohanan na ang kanyang katawan at dugo ang pagkaing nagdadala 
sa buhay na walang hanggan. And this is also what we see in our first reading today. We heard about the conversion of St. Paul from being a faithful Jew to being a faithful missionary of Jesus. Paul, or in his previous name, Saul, thought that what he was doing was right. He thought that he was acting according to the truth. Dahil yun ang kanyang paniniwala at yun ang akala niyang tama, kaya inuusig niya ang mga Kristiyano. Pinahihirapan niya ang mga naniniwala kay Kristo. Until one day, Jesus revealed himself to Saul. And because of that encounter with Jesus, the mind of Saul was enlightened. Mali pala yung kanyang paniniwala. Mali pala yung katotohanan ng akala niyang katotohanan. At iminulat ni Jesus ang kanyang isip sa katotohanan tungkol sa kanyang sarili. At dahil dyan, nagbago si San Pablo. We heard of another man in our first reading today, a disciple of Jesus named Ananias. And he was asked by the Lord to go to Paul after Paul's conversion. But Ananias hesitated because he knew who Paul was. Sabi niya, kilala ko yung taong yan. Inuusig niya ng mga Kristiyano. Pinahihirapan niya ang mga naniniwala kay Kristo. Bakit ko siya pupuntahan? That was the truth that he knew about Paul. But God enlightened his mind and said, Go to him because now he is your brother. Itinuwid ng Diyos ang akala ni Ananias na katotohan ng alam niya. My dear brothers and sisters, until now, God opens our minds to the truth. Until now, God painstakingly and patiently opens our minds to the truth about Himself. It is just that it is difficult for us to accept the truth. Iminumulat ng Diyos ang, kat- ang ating isip sa katotohanan pero hindi naman natin agad-agad tinatanggap ang katotohanan. Gumagamit ang Diyos ng iba't ibang paraan para ituro sa atin ang tama at matuwid. Pero ang dami rin naman nating dahilan para tanggihan ang itinuturo sa atin ng Diyos. Aaminin ko po sa inyo mga minamahal na kapatid, Maraming pagkakataon sa aking panalangin bilang pari, tinatanong ko ang Diyos, Lord, bakit ba ang hirap-hirap ipaglaban ang iyong katotohanan? Bakit ba mas pinaniniwalaan pa yung nakikita sa social media? Mas pinaniniwalaan pa yung mga vloggers? Mas pinaniniwalaan pa ang Facebook at ang TikTok kaysa sa iyong salita. Bakit mas pinaniniwalaan pa yung mga gawagawang kwento, yung fake news, yung fabricated stories kaysa sa iyong katotohanan? Bakit ba yung kasinungalingan ang pinaniniwala ang katotohanan? At bakit ba yung katotohanan ang pinapalabas na kasinungalingan? 
ang hirap-hirap naman na ipaglaban ng katotohanan ng Diyos. But we take delight, we derive hope from the risen Lord. We know that in the risen Lord, there is hope. In the risen Lord, in Jesus who conquered sin, evil, and death, we know that truth, that light, that goodness always win. Please all stand. The Father gives us His own Son as real food and real drink at this altar. We can ask Him for all our needs in Christ, the source of new life. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer that the Church may grow in apprecia appreciation of the Eucharist as the bread of life by celebrating the sacrifice of the Mass with greater devotion. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our, our prayer. That as a community, we may not be idle in our life of faith, but every day seek God even in our difficulties and sufferings. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That families, especially our children, may grow in the ways of grace through the constant reception of the Eucharist. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us pray that we may have a peaceful, honest, and credible elections, and that we may elect leaders who uphold the values we hold dear as Christians and Filipinos. Faith in God, truthfulness, integrity, decency, and concern for the common good. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may be strengthened in their faith by uniting their sufferings with the suffering of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That our beloved dead may have the eternal life promised by Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We also pray for the people who need our prayers and for all the intentions offered in this Mass. Heavenly Father, you gave us the body and blood of your Son as food and drink for our journey. Grant that through our union with Him, we may be united with one another as members of His body. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please all stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, 
make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times, to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the Lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, 
who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from ignorance, from deceptions and lies, and from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the risen Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart i embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you never permit me to be separated from you amen
Please all stand. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. <laughs>